Hello hello, I'm Brexion and welcome to a new Songs of Conquest playthrough. So in case you haven't heard about this game, this is a strategy game much similar to the Heroes of Might and Magic series where we build towns and armies and conquer our opponents. So since last time we played, um, they actually added even more <laughs> AI difficulties. So from the start menu here we can go to Extras and Tutorial and Codex. And if we scroll all the way down here on the first page, we will get the AI difficulties. So we have, first of all, we have the worthy level, which means that the AI have the same resources and settings as you have. Uh, then we have three easier, where they have more expensive troops and get less resources and also get to move less than, uh, than you. And if we go up in difficulty, they gain extra resources and they are faster, they can see longer, they marketplace, they also gain extra income, troops, and multi and XP. So um, that could actually make them quite difficult to defeat. So um, last time we played on hard, and I think hard is somewhere between challenging and overwhelming. Um, not sure exactly. Where, where on this scale they end up, but I think we're going to go with challenging this time around. So, let's head to the conquest. And uh, as you can see, <laughs> they have now split this into multiple uh, categories. And we have played a few random maps already, so here, this is where you can generate the random maps. They have also added some challenge maps now, which are more like specific scenarios where you need to figure out how to win. Uh, but we're going to be playing a handcrafted map actually today. And we're going to be playing the, the map Proving Grounds, uh, which is a four player map. And uh, it's quite tight, so it's going to be interesting how this plays out. And um, we can win by either defeating all enemies or we could actually claim all the beacons of power and win that way as well. So we'll see what happens. Alright. So, first of all, we should probably see which faction we're going to be playing. So, I'm going to uh, bring up the vote. And here, as you can see, Rana was the faction that actually won. So, today we're going to be playing Rana. And uh, just to spice things up, I, uh, we're going to move down here to have the green as Rana. And uh, then we should set all of the AIs to the challenging difficulty. And uh, last time we played, uh, we ended up with three of the same faction. So uh, this time we're actually going to have one uh, AI opponent of every faction. So all the factions get to participate in this playthrough. And then for the wielder, we could always pick one of these wielders. But as usual on this channel, we always go with random heroes or wielders. Uh, just because it's much more fun to come up with a strategy on the fly. Apart from that, we have the game settings here, and we're going to be running on the map default on all of this. And uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything else, um, so let's just jump into the game. And uh, yeah, I really like that they've added some more loading screens. I don't remember seeing this before, and uh, it's quite nice. Okay, let's see here. Looks like the AI is done. Okay. All right, welcome to Songs of Conquest. All right, uh, I'm do a short introduction to this game in case you haven't seen it before. So we have a starting town, we have a starting wielder, and uh, the resources. We have two basic resources and three special resources together with gold. And let's see here. And um, we have a town here which we can upgrade up to tier three. Uh, whenever we upgrade, we get more build slots, and the build slots are the places where we can build buildings. Uh, so, if you wanted to, we could also just build multiple of the same building as well, as long as we have build slots. And uh, this also gives us our income, so the higher tier, the more income we get. So first, we should probably look into upgrading this, uh, but we need 5 stone and 5 wood to get some extra income and more build sites. Uh, which we could probably grab. Over here we have our starting wielder. We have Pcha, <laughs> the hermit. And uh, his specialty is 40% spell damage resistance. It's 
pretty good. And he also starts with positioning, so he gets some range resistance. Okay. And he has Chaloons, which also counts as shielded, which gives an extra range resistance. And we have some Shamans, which are ranged troops, and they're also venomous, which uh, makes uh, the ones hit take extra damage. Uh, over the coming rounds. Alright, so... Looks like our hero is basically about defense and then just firing away at our opponents. Could be fun. Alright, so uh, it would be nice to also set up a shaman tent so we could get some more shamans to actually fight. But let's just start with grabbing some resources. Okay, only two wood. Okay, so we could always hold down the alt key. And we can see all everything that we can uh, interact with. And uh, we can also hover over things. And we can see that a source of riches means that we will get some resources. Uh, a source of power means that we will gain... Uh, like, it could be a temporary boost, but we get some boost to our fighting capabilities. And do we have the final one? The source of power, source of power. Yeah, there's, oh, there's one over there. Um, there is a source of knowledge as well, which is to give us experience. Alright, so which direction are we heading first of all? We should probably grab this uh, these artifacts. Four stone, that's good. Too bad we're missing one wood to actually upgrade this. So I think we, we could always just build... Uh, buildings which actually produce resources. So I think we're going to start building one of those and then we should probably get over here and grab this to give us some extra gold each round and we can see that blue is over here as well Ooh, they've already upgraded them okay and that's unfair <laughs> and all right uh, let's see here um, so there's hotkeys if so if you uh, if you hover a unit and click on one of the number keys, you will split off that many troops into an empty slot. So if I click on the one key, um, I will split off one into a new empty slot. Alright, but uh, not much else we can do here to start. Okay. Tavern, okay. Looks like our opponents are going for Troubadours. Uh, do we, can we... Okay, we're not close enough to actually see how dangerous these are. Fair fight. Okay, so fair fight is a little bit easier than equal to us. Okay, so now that we have the extra, let's just upgrade this. As you can see, we got some extra build slots, and we also now we earn 500 gold per round. If we want to upgrade to the next step, we need a lot more gold and a lot more stone and wood. So now's the question, can we even get anything? We can get some income, which we should probably get at this point, because it doesn't look like we're going to get any uh, stone or lumber mills close by. Alright, so maybe it's time to actually get into a fight, since this is a fair fight. This could actually be a little bit tricky. Alright, so they're going to have some shamans as well, which is going to be shooting. Let's just see what quick battle says about this battle. Ooh, it actually took some time. Okay, losing one Chaloon. Alright, hopefully we can avoid doing that, but <laughs> no guarantees. Okay, good thing these guys aren't that fast. They, they only move two spaces. Okay, so in this game you can move and fire the same turn. If you want to. Okay, I don't think we're in a hurry right now. Okay, so um, we have some spells over here. So these, these are all the spells in the game. 
And uh, how the mana system works in this game is it as it is uh, essence based instead. So every troop has essences as you can see down there. And uh, every time the troop get to act, they generate uh, those essences which are stored up here. So currently we have four arcana and four creation essence. Uh, which we can use during the battle. And after the battle we lose uh, any of it that we haven't spent. Um, okay, so it would be really nice to actually hit these guys. Um, to start inflicting some poison on them. As you can see here, we also there's also high ground multipliers. So since uh, we're lower than they are, we deal 20% less damage, and if you're higher, we deal 20% more damage. And uh, offense versus defense is basically one for one for percent, unless we're actually below. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, I think we should just backwards. Okay, so we have some spells now. Okay, so we should probably aim for these. Throw some poison around. Okay, I wonder how much these do 2 to 5. Okay, so they don't deal that much damage. Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. Uh, we have the melee resistance at least we can use. Oh, this is a nice one. Yeah, this is a lot of damage. And let's just continue to fire at them. Nice, okay, the poison cloud is doing a lot of work here, okay. Okay, we can, but we can't really get close to them, unfortunately. Okay, so we're just going to have to wait for some more essence. Okay, well, that, that worked out pretty well. With our tanky, our armies, we could just use some spells to finish it off. And so, the more, as you can see, like the more troops we have, the more essence we can generate each round. So, having a lot of. The, that's basically one of the biggest reasons I split them up, because I would generate more uh, essence per round. Okay, come on. Big wood. Okay. Nice. Um, maybe we actually skip this then. So we could just pick it up again, get all the money back, uh, because I definitely want some shamans. Okay. 750 experience. Uh, okay, so we could actually learn woodcutter with just give us one more wood. <laughs> I don't think it's that useful on a main hero, so... Let's see here, range resistance, nice, but I think we're going with command, so we can split our troops even more for some, some more essence. Some gold, some wood, and some stone, nice. Alright, four glimmer weave is a lot, this is a special resource, but 1400 gold is also a lot, so I think we're going to gold for now. We're going to be, we're going to need quite a lot of gold. And uh, let's see here, should we upgrade this? So all buildings can be upgraded. Almost all buildings can be upgraded. And uh, as you can see, like building a building actually takes a few turns. So building a small, it takes one turn, medium two and large three. But upgrading is instant, so we can just upgrade this instantly. So now it produces two wood, as you can see here. All right. So, I think we're done for now. Just yes, you can see here below the wielder, we have one-on-one -on -one wielder. 
So we can't exactly recruit another wielder yet. Um, for every settlement you grab or uh, for every level or tier 3 I should say. Town you get and you get more. The wheelie cap is raised. Um, Alright, so the shamans are done. What do we need to upgrade these? A lot of ancient amber and celestial ore. Okay. So we want to recruit troops. We could either go to the main building and we can recruit from all the buildings around here. Or we could just go directly to the building and recruit them if you want to. Alright, so now we have some... Now we have a bit more troops. Okay, so this is a fair fight. I think we should be fine to just go grab this then. Ooh, this is a pretty good. Scholar Selector is plus one in all stats. Definitely something you want. Okay, so let's just put you here. So if you're standing, the higher up you're standing, the lower, more extra range you get as well. So we definitely want to position our ranged troops up, high up. Yeah, so you can see that their basic range is 6, but since we're standing a bit up, we're getting some extra bonus range. Okay. So yeah, you can move and shoot in the same round in this game, but as you can see as well, <laughs> you, lose, you lose some damage when you do that. Okay, I can't really reach. So let's just hit them for now. And wait for them to get closer. Okay, are they going to fire? Yes. Okay, so they dealt... Did they actually do... Yeah, two damage. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm actually more afraid of the minstrels now. So let's just shoot at them. Oh, can we reach? Oh, nice. Okay, so these guys need to spend the round reloading. <laughs> Probably stay around. Oh, we also got the acid cloud once more. Just outside range. Alright, I think we could just go and bash these guys now. And we also have some spells. Alright. Pretty easy fight. Okay, so so far we're doing pretty good actually. Um, we can just stay back and let our shamans doing all the damage. With our challenge tanking. Alright, so let's see what we have here. We have some amber, and this is the what we're looking for. So plus one offense, defense, and movement, most importantly. So now we have 13 movement. Alright, our axe, one-handed axe gives us plus six offense. Alright, I mean we need offense if we want our ranged troops to actually deal some damage. Worthy. Fey, spirits, and troubadours. Okay. Alright, so I think that's all for now. Alright, oh, we should probably build something. Um, we should probably get some diggers as well, so we can... Oh, do we want to upgrade ours? Ooh, maybe we actually upgrade our shamans to sages uh, immediately. That would be quite interesting. So, um, if we were to actually do this, so we can go to this up here on the right, and we have we have, can see how much uh, troops we're producing and we can recruit right now. And if we actually were to upgrade this, and uh, it would start producing sages instead of shamans, but it wouldn't actually upgrade all the shamans that has been produced earlier. So it would actually be one way to save some gold. But uh, it costs stone. And I really want to get up to tier 3 early on. Especially since it's the maximum level of our town. So, okay. 
Uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit longer for that until that happens. Okay, so um, in this game, troops are produced every round, so we can just drop some more troops. Get some more shamans, probably useful to have. And here we get one offense and defense permanently, not bad. And here we have five offense and defense for one battle, okay. Not as strong. And so all of these buildings gives you one extra essence for one for a battle for a single battle, I should say. And here is a beacon of power actually, okay. So as you can see here down to the left we have our objective, we could either defeat all enemies or we could just claim all the power beacons. And so we know what where one of them are at least. Okay, so Oh, it's actually a stone mine down here. Okay. Fair fight. Few outlaws and several wolves. Few archers, few sappers, and few shields of order. Okay. Here we have a beacon of power. Wait a minute. Okay, so this is a beacon of power, and this is just a fallen beacon of power. Okay, I'm not actually sure what the difference are between them. Um, but we'll see. <laughs> we'll see when we get there. Okay, so fair fight. Okay, so so far we had pretty good fair fights. So let's do it. Oh, okay. This is a pretty bad map for us. But at least we might be able to hide behind something. Let's uh, jump into the bell. Okay. Uh, so we need to figure out... Oh yeah, these are really fast. And you are also very fast. So you have inspiring presence, so everybody, all friendly units around gain extra stats. And or an excessive, or even of ability to boost, okay. Oh yeah, this can get pretty dangerous. And we can't even reach. Okay, so maybe we can move here. Okay, so I'm just going to stow your way here at the end. Okay, so we do actually have ethereal scales, which we could use. To make our Shaloon very tanky. How much damage you? 3 to 5. But I think we're going to have to need to save it for some more damage. Okay. Yeah, um, this is bad. Definitely bad. Okay, so we can add an extra barrier here to protect down here. So how fast are you? Four movement. Okay, so you can just barely make it down there. I'm just going to add barrier. I mean, it's scary. Okay, I think we're fine. Because you could actually use Dimension Door to jump over here <laughs> and smack him. Alright, our Sheldon survived. Well, they're quite tanky, but we could have always added the Thoral Scales on them again. Or again, I should. On them to give us 50% melee resistance. Probably helped out a lot. Okay, not enough to level up. Oh, wait a second. They, these are both double mines. Okay. In that case, I'm not even sure we need to upgrade this then. We should probably look into what kind of building we want to build here. Maybe we should just start building the challenge then. 
Okay, so if we want to upgrade shallows, we will need to build at least one fungus farm. That should be fine. Okay, um... Sure, maybe just grab these right away. Okay, so it's going to take two rounds for us to get there. But hopefully it'll be fine. And then we need to save up some resources. So now we can't upgrade this anymore because we're missing gold. Okay. All right, that's fine. And we're out of movement, so let's just do a turn there. Uh, okay, so they're up to tier 3 there. Okay, I hope we're not going to be too far behind. Uh, we just realized that we're going to... We need some more gold, actually. So, maybe we turn around and move back here and see if we can take this fight. Uh, because they're guarding a treasure chest. Level 1 treasure chest though. This is a level 2 and this is a level 3. Um, but this should give us some gold. I just hope we have enough movement left. 3.7. Okay. Okay. Um, thinking that we want to give ourselves some space to their opponents. So we can start building up some essence before we actually hit each other. Okay, they are pretty good range. Well, I mean, that's fine. Okay, so here they come. Okay, so we can stay just outside range of them at least. Okay, so let's see here. How much damage does this deal? Okay, we can kill one of them at least. They have 14 health, okay. <laughs> just about. Yeah, I think we're just going to be pulling back even further. Okay, we deal extra damage because they're standing right in front of us. Maybe they are actually able to reach us now. Yeah, our shaman's got some hits there. Alright, so let's see here. Um, yeah, we should probably just move forward. Oh, I <laughs> so much poison. Nice. Okay, and we've finally got enough for the acid cloud. So I think they're going to die pretty quickly now. Let's help out with some extra. Nice. And with a final Psychic Spear, we finish it off. Alright, so no losses so far. So far, so good. I think we have a pretty good starting hero, actually. A lot of ranged defense. Or resistance, I should say. Oh, we actually lost one. Uh, I missed that. <laughs> I was so distracted by the rest. Um, even more command, perhaps. Could I get some extra ranged resistance? We don't definitely don't need cunning. We're going to be having quite long fights, as it seems. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Let's go with positioning for now. Let's see if we can reach this. And it was... How much? 1200 gold. Which is actually not enough. Okay, we're missing one stone. Now. Hey, okay. So we got a medium build site and... A large build site. And also our wheeler cap was just raised. So we could uh, we could recruit a second wheeler now. However, uh, I don't think we can afford it because it costs 3000 gold. 
Um, but we're going to at least have to think about it. Oh, okay, there's a gold mine, which gives us 500 gold per day. And levitating monument, oh, levitating obelisk. Gives you movement, that's pretty good. Oh, talisman of arcana, gives you extra arcana. It could also be really nice to get. It also has the stuff down here, like extra movement from our boots. It's probably a power up of some kind. Yeah, we're quite close to blue here. <laughs> but at the same time, we should be really close to at least one other player as well, because all of the players are starting here in the middle, in these four quadrants. Bones in it there, okay. Um, any hand, six offense, okay, nice. <laughs> that is actually quite helpful. Um, Alright, so should we... That's a risky fight. Okay, so thanks to the watchtower, we can actually see how difficult some of these fights are. Cutthroats and wolves. Okay, I guess the cutthroats are da more dangerous than the one we faced off earlier. Um, okay, it doesn't help down there. Alright, so I think... Are we maybe just head back and get some more troops. Uh, wait a minute, maybe we just upgrade this instead. Okay, so how much will it cost to upgrade? Okay, not too bad. Uh, so you get inspiring. Okay, friendly units within one hexagon gets five in all stats. Okay, some extra initiative as well, it's not bad. And uh, we should probably drop some troops. And as you can see, but just because we upgrade, we still got all of these shamans <laughs> hanging around. Which we need to pay some gold to actually move them over to here and then we can purchase them. Alright, uh, I totally forgot to actually check how much stronger they are now. Okay, so we can go to the options and the tutorials and codexes here as well. And we can check uh, the different troops. And for Rana, we have like 1 to 3 damage, 10 health. And we have 2 to 4 damage and 15 health now. Okay, so well, just permanently one more damage. Nice. Um, let's see here. Are we just... Maybe we're just hanging around here for now. For one round. And we can get some more troops and then we can move out. And maybe claim some of the stuff down here. Yeah, looks like they've gotten a second wielder already. Yeah, they have a fake grow here, yes. Alright. I just noticed. Okay, left. Uh, grab some more shamans first of all. And that's all of our gold. Okay. And apparently this is now a simple fight. I have some die dress, some steam pipe, and okay, so no ranged troops. Uh, tribute to order. I don't think we need some extra order essence in this battle. It will just be one per round. So let's see what these guys are up to. Okay, um, this is huh? Don't like this map because how tired it is. Okay, so because there were some walls around, uh, it looks like the battlefield is going to be smaller as well. Yeah. Okay, well, let's just fire away. Everybody gets inspired. Okay, so you have... Persistent, infinite retaliations are quick, which means they get to retaliate before you even get to attack them. Okay, I think we're just going to have... Hmm. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, there's a red area around everything here. That's the sonar control. So all uh, melee units have sonar control, where, which means that if anybody were to move from one of those squares, you get a free attack of opportunity on them. I think we're just going to add some extra defense to you, and you can just see if we can block off as much as possible. Nice poison damage. Okay, seems we're doing pretty good here. Okay, so... Oh, right, we have some spells. Um, that way we can get rid of you, I think. And you. And you almost died from poison. Okay. Oh, well. <laughs> nice. Man, they, they can just never get through our challenge. This is great. I think next time we level up, we're definitely going to grab one more command slot. Alright, so let's see what we have here. We have the Fallen Beacon of Power. Um, not sure exactly what this gives us, but it, at least it gave us a lot of vision. So maybe that's what it gives us. Okay, challenging. Wow. Interesting. It's much easier to go this path. Oh, there's a small settlement down here. We should probably get down there as soon as possible then. Okay. First of all. Oh, we got an ancient blade. Any hand. Plus six offense. Wow. Okay, even more offense. That's good. 2200 from the and some amber and glimmer weave and celestial ore. Okay, uh, 200 experience. Um, how much do we need a celestial ore? Not sure. Uh, but now that we have some gold, we, sh we should probably at least, uh, or should we? The exchange is really nice, that's like the marketplace, where we can sell and buy resources. Would be a nice way to do, to get some of the resources. Uh, but we also have the large building sites. Okay, so our highest tier unit is the Ethra, uh, which actually has two, three tiers. If we want to get there. Dragon Pyramid. Wait a minute, which, which is this building? Oh, huh, interesting. Uh, in order for to get the dragons. Uh, but there are also two... Uh, oh, this is the Dragon Pyramid. Okay. Uh, but there are also two upgrade buildings. So we have the one of the buildings which are basically for troops. And then we have one which is more economy and uh, kingdom focused. So if we have some extra resources and special resources left over, we can always go there. And here we can find things like increasing the melee offense of all the Rana troops, or giving our beast troops extra defense, or just giving the sages extra range. Um, or we could just go with extra, let's see, extra gold per round, or extra glimmer wheel, or give our wielders extra, uh, what's it called, essence per round, or increase the size of our troops. Uh, yeah, size of our troops. The number of troops you can have. As you can see here, it's like 1 of 10, one, 1 of 30. So all the troops are capped in this game. Um, are we all out of... Oh yeah, we're apparently out of movement. Um, so yeah, uh, all the troop stacks in this game are capped. So you can't have too many of the same troops. Um, okay, so if we want to upgrade this, we need a fungus farm and a lot of stone. So I think we're just going to sell this for now. Or sh ah, but this is so nice building. I spent a lot on it. Okay, so let's just sell this for now. And build a fungus farm, which gives us some extra gold per round. Probably. That will be useful in the long run. Okay, so is there any stone around here not really okay we need to be on the lookout for opponents but i think the other opponents we 
appear somewhere around here. Oh, we got an event. Okay, so there are events in this game which happens every now and then during rounds. So this event is Spoils of War. The winning battle of the battle has paid off. Gathering all the spoils and pieces from the battlefields have netted a large sum of gold. So we got 1000 gold, uh, which is great. So we could actually... That means that we could probably grab another wielder now. Okay, so we should probably do that now that we have so much gold. Alright, so who do we want? Um, okay, so I don't think there's anything, anyone here in particular. So the only question is what kind of troops do we want to bring? I mean, it would be really nice with some Ethras. Okay, let's grab you then. And... Uh, right, uh, I totally forgot to bring some troops. Oh well. Uh, let's trade these then. Now. And I should have definitely hurried back. Grab some troops. Well, uh, I guess you're going to have to catch up next round. <laughs> guess we're going down here. And you are fair. And you are simple fight now. Okay. Huh. Wait a minute. There's, there's a missing part of the world. <laughs> you can fall off the map. Be careful. Okay. Uh, quick bell. Is this enough to just win? Apparently it is. All right, I'm going to take it. And 600 gold. Worn boots gives us plus one movement and view radius. Okay. Fair fight. Treasure chest and a rider statue. Um, yeah. All right. Um, let's just take this fight then, and then I think it's time. It might be time to end this episode. Now you have one over here. Okay, I think you're fine to just move everybody there. Alright, let's see what they're up to. Okay, so these guys had the ambush ability. Called Overwatch in some games, but uh, yeah. So we can activate this ability and we'll attack the first unit to enter their deadly range, which means there's an uh, inner area where they deal full damage and they deal half damage during the other area. Okay, so we just wanna. Uh, probably not. Well. We're just gonna hang out here for a while. Okay, uh, will you be entering? Yes. Okay, so these guys are annoying because they are shielded so they gain extra range resistance. Which will be annoying. Okay, so let's put, set up the ambush and poison them. That's bad. Okay, so how much damage can you deal? I think... We can just hang around here for a bit. Okay, so if you want to fight, you need to go closer. Nice, extra damage. Yeah, we're going to lose a shaman or two. Okay, that's totally fine. Fine by me if they want to do that. Okay, so let's just charge forward. Okay, now we need to figure out what we're going to do. Okay, so let's check our spells. Um, We're getting close to Acid Cloud. 
This is a huge area though, but I think... Is it worth it to wait for that long though? I think we just need to fire away. Okay, we got Acid Cloud. Okay, so let's see here. Okay, can we just hit you? Nice, nice, okay, perfect. And uh, now we just need to make sure that this challenge survive. I think we can just wait around. Hang around, having a good time. Nice, okay. Perfect. Oh, okay, almost perfect. <laughs> we lost two shamans, but... Uh, at least our more expensive troops are still hanging around. Alright, a new level. Ooh, wow, okay. Um, I said I was going to pick command, but then we got creation magic. So this is how you get stronger spells in the game. So all the spells have tier three different tiers. And... Uh, you need to level this skill up to tier to level three in order to get access to the tier three spells or the stronger versions of these spells. Uh, I think okay, so this means that our wheeler will generate two extra creation essence every round. So I think we're going to grab the creation essence while we can. Uh, so now we generate five per round and we generate four arcana. All right. Um, but yeah, I think this is a pretty good start. We'll be able to grab the small settlement next round, maybe build something interesting. So yeah, I hope you're enjoying this episode so far. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so that you don't miss the rest of this series. And uh, yeah, until next time, have a good one. See ya!